Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, depending where in the world you are. I am Scott Center, and I'm joined, as always, by the notorious EAW, Ed Allison Wright in Gibraltar. And this is Centerpiece, uh, coming to you from the studios at the Georgia Ports Authority, where the sun is setting over the cranes over the Savannah River. And today we are thrilled to welcome Brian Oglesby. He is the brand new president of World Trade Center Pittsburgh. He is also the president and the CEO of the Eastern Minority Supplier Development Council, and it's an affiliate of the National Minority Supplier Development Council. Uh, they work across Pennsylvania, Southern New Jersey, Delaware. They certify and connect minority-owned businesses, Asian, Black, Hispanic, and Native American, with over 1,750 corporate members committed to supplier development and diversity. Yeah, hello everyone. And just to add some extra context, Brian also serves as co-chair of the Global Diversity Advisory Council of World Trade Center Greater Philadelphia. Um, in that capacity, he attends the Global Business Forum, which he came to in Bengaluru last March. Um, and that, that allowed him to play a really pivotal role in becoming a president of World Trade Center Pittsburgh. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great uh, seeing you in Bengaluru. We had a wonderful time together. I'm really thrilled to uh, see you joining an organization and, and taking it. Can you, I, I know you're a biology major, which is a natural uh, segue into economic development, but could you uh, tell us about your journey from Bengaluru to uh, where we are today? Yeah, I decided to make the animal house joke. Pre-med, pre-law was the difference. So I wound up going pre-law economics after a few years of being a biology major. So um, <laughs> Bengaluru was an interesting journey because I sit on the Global Diversity Advisory Council of the World Trade World Trade Center of Greater Philadelphia. Um, Thomas Young, the president, invited me to come along to um, go to the Global Business Forum. And just serendipitously, I had already done a lot of work in um, getting my organization to be more globally inclined in terms of getting um, my businesses to opportunities and our corporate membership and our MBEs. And it turned into a great situation where I just met the right people at the right time and had the right conversation and came to the realization that the Pittsburgh um, office of Pittsburgh um, the Pittsburgh license was available for transfer, and I immediately jumped on the opportunity um, to assume the role. So hanging around, hanging out in Bangalore and um, downing a few King Fishers had some real good benefits for us. And, and Brian, tell us a little bit more about the, the link between your organization, EMSDC, and World Trade Center Greater Philadelphia. Well, the link is original. This is the first time it's ever been done. Um, a supplier diversity council has never held a license for a World Trade Center. Um, again, I use the word serendipity a lot because I was already in a space where I was developing um, my intentions of getting this into a, turning this into a globalized organization to make sure we maximize the opportunities our businesses could um, achieve in terms of um, emerging markets, new places and going anywhere in the globe. I'd already worked with um, Greater Philadelphia's office with the uh, Selling to the World program. I'd done a trade mission of taking smaller businesses out of Pittsburgh ironically into the european market with some success in, in the well south african market and i'm also a member of the global supplier diversity alliance which is a, an amalgamation of supplier diversity councils from around the world that functions as a global think tank on making sure we become we make our supply chains more dynamic and diversify for the sake of roi um, and being mindful of what that means in any given country and it just turned into a natural link between um th that and the work of the world trade center with the number of offices we have around the world and the access to trade services and the and the longitudinal understanding of how to do business in various places kind of just turned into a great way to extend the work and brian tell us a little bit about how your organization sees value in the license that the world trade centers association has well obviously the logo above my head will tell you that as an organization that's really efforting getting into the global marketplace the gravitas of the world trade center the brand identity the accomplishments, the, the, the how well known it is um, throughout the business and economic community adds a level of gravitas to the work that I've been attempting to do in terms of getting my companies into the global marketplace. And it's, it's already created a, a smoother runway to get places. Um, it's created a lot of interest within the network um, across the national network in terms of getting people through our doors to get um, greater opportunities internationally and entering new markets and growing from the outside in. I think the license has created a level of versatility of uh, obviously the brand recognition and the gravitas that we need to move our plans forward. We know that you'd be moving it forward anyhow, but the World Trade Center uh, network gives you a great head start. And um, absolutely. 
It's you, you don't have to reinvent the wheel when the wheel is built right there in front of you. Okay. That's good. That's great. The, the metamorphosis that uh, you're doing with the World Trade Center Pittsburgh is inspiring. It should be inspiring to um, other World Trade Centers, uh, particularly the ones that haven't been uh, at the forefront. And and if you can take uh, somebody, you get Philadelphia and Pittsburgh to work together, those be all around the world. Those are rival cities. And if he can get those two cities to work together, then he can work wonders. Uh, your whole your whole story is inspirational. Um, we're thrilled to have you part of the network and all you've accomplished and all you're going to accomplish for us. Thank you so much. And thank you for uh, the hospitality and the warm welcome that everyone's given me and the latitude and the um, ability to attack my sales and sell the ship where I need to go it, go with it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, look, Brian, we, we want to make sure we get a Kingfisher next time we're in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Kingfisher is the official beer of this transaction. I will make okay. sure. <laughs> <laughs> our our major opening event that we're going to do in the first quarter of next year has Kingfisher beer because it does have meaning. I mean, apologies to the Iron City beer folks out there, um, but we're going to have to have some Kingfisher. Is the celebratory beverage of World Trade Center of Greater of Pittsburgh. All right, and you're going to invite us all, right? Because we want to. Oh, be yeah, everyone's invited. It's a big party. Okay. We've got a lot of stuff that's going to happen, and I need you to be there anyway to add the gravitas that you guys have. <laughs> I want to have people from Savannah to Gibraltar, and that's good advertising for me. We'll be there. I can commit. Uh, I can commit. Ed, he'll be there, and I'll, I'll be there too. So, all right. Thank you very much for this, for your time, everybody. Uh, and I want to say good night, good evening, good morning, uh, wherever on the world you are, and we will see you next month. Thank you so much, Brian. All right. Thank you.